I've got a lot of issues with sensors, and I like spouting off about how much I fucking hate censorship and all this and that. But... As with anything, there's two sides, right? And so if I'm so against censorship, I, can't, I just can't be against censorship whole, and just be like, oh, just all fucking against it blindly. Right? You, you can't do that with anything. You can't just be against something and not understand it or whatever. And so and when you hate something, maybe you, you hate it because you misunderstand it. And so maybe I hate censorship because I misunderstand it and I've been told wrong or my, or my understanding is wrong. And so... So... Why do you need to censor? Where does this come from? What's the history? How does this work? Why, why are we in this situation where we're jumping down each other's throats you can say this you can say this you can say this you can say this you're not allowed to say this you're not allowed to say this you can say this over here but not over here this over here not over here it's annoying but it feels like it's necessary what's going on because like if if you're you can be like okay yes free speech free speech anyone can say anything they want but then someone will post on your video your address or something it's like, okay, maybe not everything, or, or they'll get to you somehow. And it's all just so confusing. The censorship and how it's the morally right thing to do is to censor, and that this is the starting point for every conversation. And this is what I hate about politics, is that you can just... There's a whole other discussion. I've got too much on my mind, too much to talk about. What I hate about politics is you have this sort of... You can't talk about anything. You have one person. They come in and they say, this is censorship. And this is how we talk about censorship. Anything that's not that conversation. You're an idiot. You're a fool. You get out. You're dumb. You're not part of the conversation. It's like this with everything. Absolutely everything. Doesn't matter what it is. This is just how it works. So... And that's what's happening with censorship. And why everyone believes in it, but they don't believe in it. They don't believe in it, but they do. They do, but they don't. Free speech here, but not over here. Free speech for you, but not for me. <laughs> that's all I want. I just want no free speech for me and all the free speech for you. <laughs> it's so confusing. So, so what is going on here? Why is everyone so obsessed? with controlling what other people say. So the problem is these damn computers, right? We all know the problem is these fucking computers. So, whenever you're reverse engineering something, and you're trying to figure out how something works, you delete, a, you remove a part. This is a very basic reverse engineering, whatever you want to call it. I come from mechanics. It's just, a, it's just how you figure shit out. So... You remove the part, so let's remove the computer, and forget about the fucking computer for a second to try to understand this. There, there is no computer. Computer doesn't exist. It's easy to imagine. You just pick a time period, seventeen whatever, seventeen hundred something. We're in the seventeen hundreds. There's no computer. There's no phone. There's no anything. It's just people. And the newspaper. But it's mostly just people. So all your interactions, one-on-one -on -one with someone, someone says something you don't like, you fight them on, on the spot, you fucking hit them or whatever, and then it's over. Because you go your separate ways, you find something else to do, and so in the one-on-one -on -one interaction... Mother Nature solved that for us billions of years ago. You either fight them or you flight. It's simple. There's no censorship one-on-one. -on -one. So, but then you got the newspaper. But the newspaper... 
will go and will say something bad about someone. And it's this whole layered thing. The only reason I'm saying something bad about someone is because someone over here doesn't have what they need. And, and the only way they can get what they need is if this person over here just does something. They just won't do this thing to get this person what they need. And so you call them out. But when you call them out, you call, this person does not like how you called them out. And, and, and they run everything. That's why you got to fucking call them out. And so shit happens. And so you censor the news. And you control what the news says. But this has nothing to do with free speech. Absolutely nothing. Because again, there's no computer, there's no phone. There's just the newspaper. This is just something that rich people have to deal with. People that, not necessarily rich, but also just the people that run things. People that are out in a boat that they have to worry about and they have to deal with. And there's many ways of doing that. You be quiet, you be good, you pay them off, whatever. It's different than censorship. The news. So where does censorship come from? Okay. Another thing you have to consider is that not everyone can read. Not everyone's taught to read for a very specific purpose. Historically. Because people write stuff about you in the newspaper and you don't want everyone around town reading it. And also, If you want to write something down, that costs money to do. You have to carve it in a stone. You have to make paper and then write it down or whatever. And so it's expensive. And so it ends up being pushed to the elite, to the rich. The rich get writing and reading. The poor people don't. So censorship isn't an issue in writing. Because only the few have it. And the few can just be cool amongst themselves. Right? So censorship does not come from here. It doesn't come from writing. It doesn't come from the news. It doesn't come from books. Because that was already solved. For thousands of years, people were writing books and everything is fine. Writing in the newspaper, everything's fine. So where does censorship come from then? Well, we have this little invention called the radio. The best invention ever. And with the radio... Paranoia. This paranoia with technology. This is something I've been studying. It's a lot to get into. But this paranoia. How it works. How it, Who's operating it. All this other stuff. When you're dealing with technology, it's just inherent that there's paranoia. Doesn't matter how good the technology is, doesn't matter you have everything solved, there's just this paranoia that you cannot escape. Even the people making the technology and have a complete understanding of how it works, because they built it, they did all of the scientific discoveries, they are still absolutely filled with paranoia about their technology, how it works, how they came up with it, how they came upon it. They don't believe it was them, they thought God told them. They, they thought they stole it, they thought it was obvious, all this and all of that. The technology is so, it's so amazing and it just elicits paranoia so easily. And, and so you have the radio. What are you going to do with the radio? What's the purpose? Well, the purpose is communication, and so you're using it to communicate how to kill people and shit for military stuff. And and just like with everything, okay, yeah, we right now we got to make sure that we're not dying. We got to kill some fucking people or whatever. 
but then it's like, okay, we're, we're done. Like, we're, we got that done, and then you can't stop or whatever. And But you still got, you got this radio. What do you do with this thing? Crazy guy figured it out, didn't want to be killed, didn't want whatever to happen, and so built this radio, and now you can communicate. What do we do with this? And so you try to do something for the public good. You try to do something for everybody. You, this is amazing, but you, there's not enough resources to build a radio for every single person. So that they can all talk to, so everyone can talk to each other. And so it's, there's this paranoia, and then there's this, this, um, this wanting to help people, but then also this not having enough resources to do that. And all of this is just so hard to navigate especially if you're trying to do it in secret because it's technology and the paranoia it just comes with it automatically and the paranoia with technology is insane this is crazy the stuff you can do with this if if this gets in the wrong hands it's got to be in the good hands my hands are good i wouldn't do anything wrong so obviously other people would think the same way but anyways so it's got to be me and so I've got to control it, and everything spirals and spirals and spirals. So what happened with radio? So... So with radio, you got this, we want to do something for the public good. We can broadcast these messages, we can broadcast these plays, and we can keep people informed. Wouldn't this be so cool? And... Because, and, but the reason that's why, you, that's why you come to that conclusion, this is what you have to do, is because of your limited resources. And you have limited resources because everyone has a secret, everyone's secretive. You, the, the, there's unlimited resources for anything you want to do. The problem is, you got to be secretive. You don't want people to get all your resources, so you got to lie to them about how much you got. Because, and it's a whole thing. And so, you lie about what, how much you have, you lie about what the technology is, and you, you keep lying and lying and lying, and everyone's in these meetings, lying, and you eventually come to the fucking, uh, to the solution of broadcast radio. So now we know what to do with this technology, you give it to the, try, trying to do the right thing, but also not, because... That's the paranoia, and that's the, you can do the good and the evil, you can try to do the good thing, but then people are just fucked. You've met people before, you know this. You, you do the right thing for them, you give them the right thing, and they don't care, they're not appreciative, they're assholes, and, and then they kill you, or they kill your family, and... So you can't tell anybody what you got. It's so stupid. And so the solution you come up with in secret is broadcast radio. So, and because you can, the, you build a big antenna, and then you have the small little receivers, and it's cheap enough, we, got, we can do this. This is great. It's actually great. But it's actually not. <laughs> Because the paranoia. You're going to put one of these radios in every single home? And it can be plugged in to the power at all times. And you can turn that thing on and you won't know what you're tuning into. That's dangerous. That's irresponsible. What if the kids are around? And they just turn on the radio, and someone's broadcasting, and they're telling them to do stuff you don't want your kids to do. They're telling them about things you don't want your kids to know about. What are you at? What are we gonna do? We can't allow radios to exist we've got to stop this right now no more radios look at look at the the problems this is going to cause but 
you can't because you did it in secret. And so you've been in secret going around to everyone in town. Hey, you know how to solder. Hey, you know how to find copper. Hey, you know how to do this. And you've been secretly building up this fucking phone. Or this walkie... T the <laughs> Just piss at the phones. And But you build this radio. But then eventually it comes around and you, you're talking in secret to the wrong person. And they're like, but what about the kids? And oh, shit. And because it's all a secret, you got to keep it all a secret. Well, who are you going to talk to about this 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 issue that's just brought up? You let that thing in my... We're not letting that in my town. I'll kill you. But it's so helpful. you got to get it in there. The, the, the benefits. I don't get to control what my kids think. So, my God, this shit. <sighs> so you have to agree to letting radio be a thing only if it follows these rules. You don't, you can't, you're not going to get my kid, you're not going to get me, you're not going to, you're not scaring me when you're not, you're not, <laughs> so silly. But it's also the right thing to do. But it, but it's just applied wrong because it's all done in secret. It's secret, secret, secret. Secret meeting here. You can't all meet in one place. You're going to get found out. You're going to get bombed or something. It's, we got to all meet in secret. And and I'm going to figure this out here. And I meet with you. Then you go meet with them. Then you go meet with them. Then you go meet with them. And then we'll all be on the same page. It doesn't work. No matter what it is. No matter what you think you have. You can't work like that. You have to tell absolutely everybody. Absolutely everyone. Your scientific discoveries. So that everyone can talk about it. And be like, what are you talking about? This radio thing. It can do this. Okay, let's do a little demonstration. What's this? What's going on? What do we want to do with it? Let, okay, yes. That sounds cool. We'll broadcast plays and we'll broadcast news. Yes, let's do that. And you can come, you can get the same thing without being full of bullshit. But this is what happens. Secrets, 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 secrets. You think you have something, but you don't. No one has shit. You can come to me with any fucking technology you think is secretive. You show it to me, I'll tell you how it fucking works. I know how everything works. You think you got a problem with your thing, and oh yeah, we're stuck here. You're not stuck. If you're stuck in technology development, get the fuck out of here. Honestly, if you're coming and you think you're stuck, you're not. You're retarded. You haven't come to see me or someone like me that just knows fucking how to do shit. Because you're too scared. Because you think you have something, so you have to keep it a secret. You're dumb. You're destroying the fucking world. You're... <laughs> Completely driving me insane with the fact that I cannot fix a fucking computer. I'm the, I am the expert at fixing computers. And I'm not allowed. I can't fix my computer. I can't fix my phone. I can't fix my family's computers. I can't fix their phones. Because it's a secret. What if he knows about Computers, what if he knows what a bit is? What if he knows what a byte is? What if he knows, like, what is the fucking secret? You don't have anything. Your AIs don't fucking work. You finally, we finally got you to the fucking point of having public access and every single person that looks at it, five fucking seconds, 
this is trash. And you still can't fucking get it. We have AI figured out. We've had it figured out since it was an idea. It's so fucking simple. I don't know where the fuck I was going with this. Trying to... Just trying to be calm. Trying to understand... Why we have to have censorship. Because it comes back to this fucking radio bullshit. The paranoia, but then the trying to do good. And it makes, it makes sense. Okay, it made sense. We can admit that when there was only radio, censorship made sense. Because of course, you don't know... If your kid's going to turn it on or whatever. Okay, let's just all admit that. Breathe it out. You're right. You were right. That's not the world anymore. The world does not look like that. It doesn't work like that. Any fucking more. The radio isn't just on everywhere. So why am I being censored? Why is my stuff being edited? Why is other stuff being censored? Why is their stuff being edited? Why are people's entire channels just getting wiped off? The fucking database. You do not, under any circumstances... Delete anything from a database ever. Ever. Any fucking person that's ever programmed a database will tell you you cannot, doesn't matter what it is, you cannot delete it. It fucks everything up. Even if you program the database so you can delete shit from it, you just can't. But no one will listen because everything's a secret. And so you can't you can't even hear the database experts trying to tell everybody you don't delete anything. You can't hear the fucking psychologists going censorship doesn't fucking work. You can't hear anything going on because everything's a secret. Stop! Please! Open your fucking mouths! Type your fucking keys! Stop talking in code! This shit is the most pussy-ass fucking shit I've ever fucking seen! You got this fucking res respected fucking scientist going on fucking podcasts, and they'll explain what they're up to, but they don't explain it because it's a fucking secret! They literally don't say anything, but people parade them around these fucking podcasts as if they're telling you something. But they're not. They're using fucking shifty fucking language, this and that. They think they have something. They don't. We have everything. We figured everything out. And no one will ask. When they do, they don't like the fucking answer! Because some things you just can't fucking do! Like over, we got this bullshit! This fucking bullshit over here! With fucking steps! It's fucking ridiculous! Steps, 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 steps! Cause of the fucking beaches! There's beaches absolutely fucking everywhere! But you can't fucking get down to them, because guess what you have to get past to get to any fucking beach in the world? A fucking cliff. That's how fucking beaches work. Right? So if there's a fucking cliff, you don't go to that fucking beach. 
the fucking beach you go to. It's the one with the fucking river float. The river flows to the fucking beach. So you fucking follow the river and you can get to the beach. You don't have to climb any cliffs. You don't have to go through any fucking stairs. You don't have to do anything at all. But every single motherfucker that comes here cannot accept that fucking fact that you gotta walk through a fucking river. And the rivers aren't even that fucking bad. You gotta have some fucking shoes on that maybe go up past your fucking ankle. Or maybe some rubber boots for some of them that go up to your fucking knee. Or you wear flip-flops and just get your fucking feet wet. But oh my god, you might slip. This is dangerous. No! It's a security feature. If you are so fucking incompetent that you cannot walk through a fucking river, what right do you have to be on a fucking beach? How the fuck are you going to survive? The beaches are fucking dangerous. Even the ones made out of fucking sand. The water chain comes in and gets ya. It erodes. There's fucking sinkholes. You gotta have someone there to check it all out. Make sure the beach isn't gonna fucking kill ya. Or you go by where the fucking river goes, and it's fine near the river, usually. Because the river's eroded away all the fucking slippery shit. And it's eroded away all the fucking sinkholes. So you go to the beach, you stay kind of near the fucking river, you stay where you can fucking walk, you're fine. You don't need any fucking steps to go to any fucking beach in any fucking place of any fucking world on any fucking planet. Except for some fucking reason, Nova Scotia. You gotta have steps. You need steps to get to the fucking beach. And they just will not let it go. Every fucking person buying fucking property. Where's my steps to the fucking beach? I got waterfront. And they won't let it go. So they got everyone along here, they got their waterfront shit. But you can't build a fucking set of steps on clay. Down a clay fuck, you idiots. Think about it for five fucking seconds. The fucking cliffs here. It's sand. Sand, 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 sand. And fucking clay, 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 clay. And then fucking dirt, 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 dirt. How the fuck are you building a set? Where are you securing them? You can't. It's impossible. Unless... You want to spend a million fucking dollars. And so these stupid motherfuckers that just won't fucking listen that I gotta fucking live with out here bitched and bitched and bitched and bitched and bitched until the government, we finally fucking agreed, fine, we'll show you why you can't have a set of fucking steps. And we built one at fucking Belomidon so you can get to the fucking beach down there if you're a fucking pussy. Why you'd even want to? The beach is all fucking rocks. You can't take your dogs there. Everything, everything is fucked. These fucking idiots. Literally a million fucking dollars, multi-million dollar fucking project. Why? It's fucking clay. Stacked on top of clay. And at the bottom, it's clay, but it's all broken up because it's a fucking beach. You idiots. So you have to set fucking concrete, a big huge fucking concrete thing at the fucking top with railings and fucking metalwork and shit and you gotta fucking set a big huge fucking thing of concrete in the fucking beach and hope it doesn't fucking move and then they build a fucking metal fucking stairs welded and all this fucking shit And they act like we're restricting access to the fucking beach. Up there below it, and there's a fucking brook. You walk down it, you fucking pussies. I 
Well, then right fucking here. Right fucking here. You can, there's, because of all this other fucking shit going on in this fucking beach, there's a road going on to the fucking beach. And then they just can't get enough. It's so stupid. But, but, guess what? Well, there's this one beach. One fucking beach. Got a brook on each end of it, just like every fucking beach is how they work. But for whatever reason, it's got steps. Go down to it. And they got steps that go down to the beach. Two stories of steps all in one fucking row. Straight down to the beach. fuck would they do that? Because... They're on bedrock! On that fucking beach, they're on literally bedrock! There's no sand, there's no soil! You, can't, you can barely build a fucking house in Scott's Bay because you're on the fucking bedrock! But that's great for building a set of fucking steps. Right? It's bedrock. That's what you build off of. You can attach in any fucking where you want and put fucking secure fucking things to hold it in place. But they're made out of wood. Because that's how you build fucking steps. But it's literally, literally the only beach in the world you can build steps on. Because the bedrock is stable there, so it doesn't erode. You go up the beach, it erodes. You go the other way, it fucking erodes. It's a different layer and shit. So it can literally only be in one spot. No one wants to hear it. Everyone needs their fucking steps down to the fucking beach. Just ridiculous. Fucking, we move into fucking here. And... Neighbor, right next door to me. Right fucking next here. They come, they, they come over. They, the only thing they want to talk about... Is getting a set of steps put in down to the beach. Why would they be so obsessed with this? Houston's beach is just down there. This guy, this guy, what he does for work is build cars. He's got cars. He knows how to drive. You, you want to go to the beach? It, it's a two second drive for you, bud. You picked this lot that did not have beach access. That's a cliff. And you built your house there. Whatever, you don't have a choice, blah, blah, whatever. For fuck's sakes. Let me tell a fucking story. So. Fucking thing, we're not getting to that today. Anyways. And you come over, if you build me a set of steps down here, I'll fucking, I'll pay for all the materials. You can build a set for you and, and a little fucking piece connecting in for me. And you can get a little set. Come on, it'd be fucking great. No, we're not dumb. You're not having access to our, <laughs> going through our fucking yard to get down to the fucking beach. So why do they even come to us in the fucking first place? Well, the other fucking steps I'm telling you about is my fucking family, too. We're crazy fucking mechanics and shit. We can do anything. We can build anything. But you can't... 
You can't build anything, okay? We can build anything, but you can't actually build anything. So, hey, Colin, okay, build these fucking steps. No, 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 we're not building you a fucking set of steps. <laughs> but we fucking build our own set of steps. Because, it, because it's... Because... In the... It, it, It's not because we're pussies. It's because for you gotta everything is different. You gotta assess everything one on fucking one, one thing at a fucking time. And this fucking to get to the beach from here, the little brook that fucking goes down, or the well, it's not even a brook, but the fucking there's just water is here, and it fucking goes down and carve this thing or whatever. And but this also used to be a garbage dump. Before we had garbage collection, you would just go to the fucking ravine, the river, and you just chuck your fucking garbage in. And so, yes, technically, if we wanted to go to the beach, we could walk through the fucking eroding ravine. Hope it doesn't erode in on you and collapse a bit and take some extra garbage and glass and shit and cut into you. And we could have used, and we could have walked, or we could have walked. Down wherever, we could have walked around wherever, we could have drove wherever to get to the fucking beach. But, you can build steps here in this fucking lot, so you can. So why not? It's the fucking beach. So we did. And we have multiple times, moved them around, sometimes over here, sometimes over there. The water washes them up and washes them away. It, it, it's not a, a, a one and done thing. Even the ones that belong it in. They, it's not a few million dollars and they're done. It's a few million dollars plus you have to check it every fucking day. You gotta have someone to do that. Because it's always eroding and shit. But if you're on the bedrock, it's different. It's a different inspection. It's a different inspection schedule. It's a different maintenance schedule. But here it's manageable. You're going to the beach every day. And we know how to fucking fix shit. And so, so we build a fucking set of steps. We're, we're enjoying the fucking beach here. Everything's fucking fine. Until my dad needs to go in for some bullshit fucking surgery. And goes into the fucking surgeon. And just like, you know, how fucking doctors are. He's kind of blown off. Oh, you're not an issue. Yeah, yeah, I get you. And, and uh, we'll get you... In and we'll fucking get you fixed up. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But then he books him for a second appointment. A second consultation. And... Fucking brings him in. Like, yeah, I didn't realize that you were my neighbor. You live a couple houses down. And you know me, I live a couple houses up there. They're the fucking nicest one in, in your fucking little community. With the fucking pool, the private pool, and the fucking this, and the that, and the garage, and the, and everything. I'm the, I got all the fucking money here, bud. You, you need to build me a set of, well, you need to build me a set of steps. And tries to commission him to build a set of steps. He's going in for shoulder surgery <laughs> because of, he injured him with construction shit. <laughs> Not only that, okay, yeah, that's fucking rude, right? That's just fucking, why would you do that as a human being? It's just so stupid. But on top of all of this, on top of all of this fucking stare drama, all of it, I injured someone on a set of stairs, or I killed them. I don't know, I don't remember, I don't want to remember, I don't want to know. All I know is I fucking pushed someone down a set of steps, they landed at the fucking bottom, and there was fucking blood. And they weren't fucking moving, they weren't responding to my call, that's my fucking story. And so, not only that, And it was completely accidental, all this, I'm fucking sorry, all that fucking bullshit. But not only that, my dad built the fucking steps. 
It was in the house that he fucking built to support his fucking family that eventually got burnt down because we had to move out because of money shit. Because everyone is so fucked. So think about this for a second. I seriously injure or kill someone on a set of steps that my fucking father built. And now part of his fucking trauma, how he's going to deal with fucking that, is he's going to go build in other people's steps in the most dangerous fucking environment you fucking can? The nerve on these motherfuckers! Just so fucking sick. Even if you don't know that, you're fucking disgusting. Fuck you. Put your fucking dog on a leash. I don't care how fucking trained it is, you motherfucker. He's a fucking doctor, but he's not smart enough. He couldn't figure out how to build a set of steps in his little fucking river. Because you fucking can't. One fucking look. Yeah, you can't build steps into that. That's fucked. You can maybe crawl down a mountain climb and you're that's it. Put a fucking rope. Why do we need this censorship? Where does it come from? What am I missing here? All right, the internet. There's shit happening on the internet. There's doxing. There's fucking the raids. Whatever the fuck you call that. I'm so fucking tired. The swatting. So you gotta be able to... No, you don't! Swatting happens when police are dumb. That's it. End of story. Police are dumb and competent. They don't, don't know what's going on in their community. They fucking swat ya. You go kill the fucking police that do that to ya. And there's no more fucking swatting. How can you be so fucking dumb? To receive a fucking phone call about an emergency at someone's fucking place who is rich and fucking famous and not think someone's trying to fuck with them. And not try to fucking at least fucking get some fucking feelers before you go kill everyone. So it has nothing to do with doxing. That's purely a police problem. They don't like having to deal with it. That's their job. You don't get to fucking censor. Fuck off. Go kill yourselves instead of us. Honestly. So why do we need censorship? I still don't understand where it comes from. Why do we need it today? It doesn't make sense. I'm not just turning on my computer and seeing shit I don't want to see. I have to consent to every single fucking thing I pull up on the fucking computer. And not only that, I can consent to stop everything I see on the fucking computer anytime I want. It's both. I can consent to say yes, and I can consent to say no. What else do you need? You fucking pussies! You're literally pussies! You just can't stand that you might have to click pause? That's all it is! You might have to click pause! Boo fucking who? This is how you click fucking pause, motherfuckers!